Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends and family across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide. We are on October 11th, 2017. Welcome to another episode, another quick video here, actually, for you. Um, the sun just erupted. Uh, quite a burp. Um, it was not earth-facing, but part of these filaments will eventually build, be in Earth's direction when it whips around. And you'll see here in the first 30 seconds of the clip and there's their second ejecta and then yeah it was so that literally just happened uh, about a half an hour ago when I had uploaded this image so this is very fresh and as per usual when Mercury comes around in conjunction with the Sun and Earth we get this kind of action and you can see a lot of cosmic disturbances up and around the Sun here just before that zap and look at the bend in the plasma here so much energy and then another burp blip Look at that, just bending reality there. Like seriously, that is some huge filament eruption. And then boom, that's a very big release. We're waiting to see the full potential of this release. So um, the sun is supposed to be uh, going through a, a, a sleeping period, a, a minimum. And if it is, and then these flares are are going to stop eventually, um, we could really be in for some solar storms here on Earth as our magnetosphere is depleted. And you can see that as per the magnetosphere diagrams here. Or this one here, the top one shows the density, or sorry, the velocity. That's the wind velocity. And over here at the real-time solar data, this shows me, this shows me here that the solar wind stream is penetrating Earth at 549 kilometers per second right now. So things are about to ramp up. And these wind speeds were hitting Earth two days ago. And, or sorry, it came from the sun two days ago and we're hitting Earth today and I had predicted two earthquake areas the Tongas the Tonga region and I also predicted uh, the Mediterranean and lo and behold just after I had reported that yeah 5.2 in Greece and also a 5.1 in the Tonga region so I'm so glad that I have my resources back and having internet at home is a lot better than hopping a Wi-Fi. Um, I really appreciate all of your patience, all of my subscribers. I know it's been a, it's been a struggle. I haven't been able to do what I normally do. It's been I know it's been a struggle for me. Um, I've missed you all. Uh, it's good to be in communications again. And thank you all for your love in the comment section. And to any new subscribers, join the comment section. I've got a great community of friends and family from across the world. Subscribers in 38 different countries now and just loving uh, sharing my research with everybody worldwide. So we're going over the solar wind data and we'll just give you a quick peek here after it expands. So yeah, 500 and, uh, 555 kilometers per second. That's the wind speed penetrating earth this is our temperature it's up 2.5 so our temperature has increased a full degree since this filament eruption from two days ago so this is what happens when we when we see an eruption on the Sun like this and it's a uh, it comes to earth and this happened a couple days ago the flare just before this so oops yeah see back to my old ways here yeah I'd love to, to let everybody know exactly why 
uh, things aren't the way they should be. But uh, YouTube reprimanded me for a, uh, a video that I guess they didn't like. So they deleted my earthquake video from two nights ago. And yeah, I got reprimanded for three months. No live streams for three months. Isn't that fun? Yeah. So, again, subscribers, thank you for joining me, and thank you for all of your loyalty and your patience during my uh, transition in life here, going from west to east, and going down a path that I have longed to do for all my life, and that is to be a meteorologist, and keep studying, keep loving and sharing what I learn. But this is a big deal here. We're going to be expecting some pretty sizable earthquakes within the next two days, I'm sure. Uh, two days, and then we will definitely see a sizable 6.0 or 7.0 earthquake. The sun awakens again when we thought it should be sleeping. I talk about a grand solar minimum, and then the sun does this. Haha. <laughs> I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Fear not, my friends. Everything will go as planned. Planned by the man, right? But, uh, anywho, this has been Mike with your Morning Dew, giving you an update on a little sun eruption and a little bit of uh, some diagrams. Solar wind stream hitting our Earth. Morning Dew is here for you, daily events worldwide, posting severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. Thanks for joining, stay young, and have fun, and get your Morning Dew.